Hey guys, I was going to do a quick comparison of the Sony A6700 and the Lumix S5 Mark II X. This is a noise uh, comparison with low and high ISO, ISO in both cameras. Uh, here we are starting off with 100 ISO, uh, both cameras on a tripod and very slow shutter speed. So. 100 ISO, we have the Lumix on the left, Sony on the right, and uh, they're looking great here. Let's do 100% crop in. Uh, still look both really great at 100 ISO, which is to be expected. Uh, I do see a little more noise with the Sony, but uh, nothing huge. Still both looking really great. So let's go ahead and jump into the 4000. I shot uh, same picture handheld fast shutter speed at 4000 ISO on both cameras. I was pretty surprised at the, uh, not too surprised, just pixel peeping. This is 100% crop in. Um, this is the Panasonic here, 4000 ISO. Sigma 1.4 lens, it's a great lens, the art lens, shot wide open at 1.4. Um, and for the Sony, we were shooting with the Viltrox 1.2, which is another great lens. Viltrox higher end for the Sony APS-C line, 1.2. Fantastic, and it's shot wide open here too. But you can see the extreme noise level differences here. I mean, this is the Sony. It's very noisy. Um, 4000 ISO. Uh, shows you the flexibility of full frame. Here's the Lumix S5 Mark II. 4000 ISO. I mean, it, this is 100% crop. If you zoom out, you, you would never know. It's a shot at 4000 ISO. It looks wonderful. Um, here's the Sony. It's to be expected. Uh, not as good low light performance. Or not be able, being able to tweak the ISO and tweak the settings as much as a full frame. So in case you guys ever wondered, uh, I'm lucky enough to own, I own both of these cameras. Sony A6700 and the uh, Lumix. They're both great cameras. All right, guys. Thank you.